Hey guys, and welcome to Foster's Handy How-To's, the video series in which I take you, the player, through the different ins and outs of every activity available in the artist's life of Steve. Once again, a quick disclaimer, all of the statistics, figures, locations, and information available in this video may be exclusive to the artist's life of Steve, and if you go into a different server, your experience may differ. Now, today we're going to be talking about iron, mining, processing, and selling. Just like we did with copper processing and collecting apples and peaches, I'll be going through funding, uh, the methods of how to do it and where you can purchase all of your stuff, and also the dollars per hour you may get at the end of it. So let's start with the funding. So without further ado, let's get into it. Now the funding and methods I'm going to be talking to you about is what I recommend for only just beginning iron. You can start with higher funding or slightly lower funding, but this is what I recommend to you. Now what you're going to want to have when you start out iron processing is $45,033 in your bank account. Now this is because, similar to the copper processing video, it costs you $1,200 to purchase a pickaxe, $20,000 to purchase a truck license, and $14,333 to purchase a truck boxer. Now, the remaining $9,500 are required for you to purchase your iron processing license, which is, as the name suggests, required for processing your iron ore. Now I'm going to go into that in a bit more detail later on. Now in this video I will not be showing you where to purchase your pickaxe, license or truck boxer as I specified in the funding lists as I have already done that in the previous video when I talked about copper processing. So if you're unsure on where to get these items, please be sure to consult the previous video. Now without further ado, I'm going to jump straight into it on where you have to go to mine your copper, uh, process it and all the stuff like that. Now the first thing you want to do is you want to make your way to the iron mine with your truck boxer and pickaxe. Now the iron mine can be found just to the east of Ethera and just to the northwest of the highway patrol at the coordinates 198178 as seen on the map. Now that you're here at the iron mine, you're going to want to start collecting iron ore. Now just like with copper processing, there are two ways you can do this. Method number one is to press Y to open up your player inventory, click on your pickaxe and click use. This will start an animation that will take roughly 8 seconds to complete, and once it is finished, you'll have a message appear on screen informing you that you've collected a certain amount of iron ore. Now the other method is to simply press and hold Q on your keyboard. This will begin the animation just as it did with the pickaxe uh, by accessing your player menu, and with this method, if you just keep hold of, what, of Q, you can see that it will tell you you've collected iron ore, but the animation will immediately repeat and you can keep on continuously, quickly collecting ore. Now that you've got all the iron, you're going to want to head to iron processing. Now, this is right next to copper processing that we saw in the previous video, and it's located at the coordinates 102148. It's literally 200 or 300 meters away, and should be very easy to find. So we've arrived at the iron processing, and you can see it's very similar to the copper processing. Now you've got to remember to bring $9,500 here so you can buy yourself the iron processing license. To do this, simply stroll up to the NPC and click to buy iron processing. Now, just as you did with the copper processing, you can scroll your mouse wheel and click process iron. Just like copper, this will take roughly 30 seconds to complete one batch. Now the last place you need to go is the Iron Trader, which is located northeast of Kavala at exactly the same place as the Copper Trader, at the coordinates 053144. If you follow the route as shown on the map, if you're driving a vehicle such as the box truck as recommended, you should get there no trouble. Now that we're at the Iron Trader, we can sell our iron. And considering this is exactly the same location and method that we use for copper, you should have no trouble. Simply stroll up to the NPC, click iron slash copper trader, click on your iron ingots, type in how many you want to sell, and click sell item. And there you go, as you can see in the top right, you've made yourself some money. So now you know how to process iron, but you probably want a bit more information, such as how much money you can make in the long run. Now I'm going to do the format slightly differently this time, instead of showing you dollars per hour, because as you saw from the footage, iron mine is very far from the iron trailer, and it would take a considerable amount of time to drive all the way back from the trailer to the mine to do a whole cycle. So instead of doing uh, money per unit and money per hour, what I'm going to tell you how much you earn is money per unit still, but money per run this time. So how much money can you earn a run of iron processing? Well, you can earn roughly $246,400. 
Now this is because iron sells for $3,200 per unit. And if my calculations are correct, which hopefully they are, you should be able to carry roughly 77 iron with you. Now, you probably still want to know how much money can you make in a certain amount of time. Now, from calculations that I've done, you should take into account processing time, mining time and travel time, one run of iron should take you roughly half an hour. So if you want to do it, you can technically make $492,800 per hour, but you have to bear in mind the trader and mine are extremely far away from each other, and this would add time between to get back from the trader to the mine, so you would not earn this amount of money in an hour, you would earn less. But that's pretty much all the information I've got for you guys on the iron trade. I hope it helped you out, and uh, as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the server.